Imagine a place so barren and alien that NASA actually trains there to prepare for missions to Mars. No towns, no roads, no people. This isn't Antarctica, it's Devon Island, the largest uninhabited island on Earth. Most people assume the reason nobody lives there is simple, the cold. But the truth is far more complicated. Today on Around the World, we're uncovering why Devon Island is empty and why the real deal breaker isn't the temperature. Devon Island sits in Nunavut, in the Canadian High Arctic. It's massive, around 55,000 square kilometers, about the size of Costa Rica, yet completely uninhabited. Not even a tiny town clings to its coast. In summer, a handful of scientists visit. The rest of the year, it's owned by wind, ice, and silence. So if humans can live in Greenland, Svalbard, and even Antarctica, why not here? Let's find out. It's not the cold. Yes, Devon is freezing, but people thrive in equally cold places. The Inuit live across the Arctic, and research stations survive in Antarctica. Cold alone doesn't scare humans off. On Devon, the real problems are fourfold. Rock, water, logistics, and incentives. Or, put simply, no soil, no fresh water, no way in, and no reason to stay. 1. The Rock Devon Island is a polar desert. The ground is frozen permafrost most of the year, and when it thaws, it turns into mud that destroys buildings. There's little topsoil, so farming is impossible. Much of the surface is shattered bedrock, especially around the hot and impact crater, a massive scar from a meteor strike millions of years ago. This terrain is so Mars-like that NASA uses it to test rovers and habitats. Great for science, terrible for daily life. Strong Arctic winds scour the land, making it nearly impossible to shelter structures. 2. The Water Devon is technically a desert. Annual precipitation is as low as parts of the Sahara. There are no rivers to draw from, only seasonal meltwater streams in summer. For most of the year, everything is locked as ice. You can melt snow, but that demands massive amounts of imported fuel. Without reliable freshwater, any settlement would struggle to survive. 3. The Logistics Here's the biggest obstacle. Access. Devon has no natural deep water port. Lancaster Sound is choked with ice much of the year, even in summer. Planes can land only on makeshift strips or sea ice. There are no roads and no settlements nearby, aside from Resolute Bay on Cornwallis Island. Every bag of food, every generator part, and every gallon of fuel has to be flown in or barged in at enormous cost. Compare that to Antarctica, which, despite harsher weather, has international funding, icebreakers, and dedicated airfields. Devon has none of that. 4. The Incentives So what would justify people living here? Gold rush? Oil boom? Strategic outpost? Unfortunately for Devon, it has none of these. There's no proven, easily accessible resource that would offset the crushing cost of logistics. The surrounding waters are part of a national marine conservation area, limiting industrial development. Tourism is niche, occasional cruise landings, nothing permanent. Science teams come, study, and leave. That's the pattern Devon allows. A brief history of human attempts. People have tried. Inuit hunters camped here seasonally for centuries. In the early 20th century, Canada built an RCMP post at Dundas Harbour to assert sovereignty. It struggled with ice and isolation and was abandoned by the 1950s. The graves left behind are reminders of how dangerous life here could be. Even today's NASA and Mars Society teams only stay for weeks in summer before pulling out. Mars on Earth Devon is so extreme, it's ideal for Mars training. Dry, rocky, cratered and remote, it's as close as you can get to another planet without leaving Earth. Scientists test rovers, drills and habitats here. But that's exactly the paradox. What makes Devon perfect for experiments makes it awful for real life. Svalbard and Greenland are just as cold, yet they have ports, airports and industries to support communities. Devon has none. To recap, rock, fractured permafrost ruins foundations, water, a desert disguised as ice, 
logistics, no port, no roads, no cheap way in, incentives, no resources or economy to pay for it all. It's not that people couldn't live here. With unlimited money, they could. But every single necessity, food, water, heat, would cost a fortune with no payoff. So the reason nobody lives on Devon Island isn't the cold. It's the combination of rock, water, logistics, and incentives. A perfect storm that keeps Earth's largest uninhabited island silent. Devon is Mars on Earth, a natural laboratory for science, but not for settlement. Thanks for joining me today on Around the World. If you enjoyed this deep dive, hit subscribe, ring the bell, and stick around. We've got more strange, forgotten, and fascinating places coming your way.